beautiful sunny day and what a beautiful time to have a video on 10 reasons why Dominic Solanke is better than Alexandra Mitrovic. Hello, this is Back of the Net. My name's Sam Davis. My name's Tom Jordan. And if you watch this channel, you've seen the full chat with Tom and a panel of footballing brains along with Max Whittle and Kenzie Benali as they were at Box Dean's Gate in Manchester talking all things championship and they were all rooting for their man to get that end of season award. We think that Dom Solanke is in a better place to win than Alexandra Mitrovic. He only got 40 odd goals, did he? He, he got 40, but there are 10 reasons why no. he deserves the gong over that record breaking cottager that scored a shed load of goals. Firstly, Tom, is link up play. Mm. Really good. It's better than Mitrovic. It is better than Mitrovic. All he does, Mitrovic, score 40 goals. It's embarrassing. Um, no. He just, he, just, he just sits up there, doesn't he? Go forward and, yeah, this is the first reason, is the, is the link-up play and, you know, what Dom has to offer the team compared to Mitrovic and, you know, joking aside, what Mitrovic does is, is incredible. But, yeah, looking at 10 reasons, Dom, Dom is better at doing that. He's, he's so good with link-up play, dropping deeper and, you know, picking up pockets and making it hard for the centre-halves to pick him up and... Yeah, and, and he gives a lot more to the team than just goals. And the fact of the matter is, regardless of the actual numbers, they both score goals yeah. and they've both got promoted. So what what does the other player do more than just goals? Mm. And and one of the reasons is Dom Solanke's link-up play is, is incredible for a striker and a modern-day striker as well going into the Premier League. And there's a reason why people like Scott Parker have said that he's more of a complete striker. He's a better striker than Mitrovic. Mm. Well, he certainly suits his style of football a little bit more, doesn't it? Absolutely, and we'll, we'll probably come on to that to a degree. But yeah, it's and it is more the, the modern day, and it'll be really interesting to see how this how this kind of ages when they're both in the Premier League, to be honest, because I genuinely believe that Don is a better suited Premier League striker. I do. And that is, the fact that Mitrovic scored the goals he has, yeah. it can't be sniffed out, it's incredible. But I feel like Don gives you more and link-up play is, is a key part of that. Number two, you've put versatility. Tell me what you mean. So what I mean, it, obviously it goes back to that link-up play, but there was a few games, particularly at the end of the season, where we bought Kiefer Moore on and, and people thought, oh, we've gone two up top, but we didn't really. Mm. He either went into an eight, into another ten, he even went wide left sometimes. And I feel like, would you be shocked if we had games where Dom Solanke was playing in the number ten role behind, say, Kiefer Moore? Mm. No. no. Would Mitrovic play in the number ten role? No. Not in a million right, years. So, yeah, versatility, I think. If you've got a good footballer and they can also play in other positions, that's, mm. that's crucial to you. And I think particularly, as I say, going into the Premier League, there'll be certain games where we think, oh, we need Kiefer Moore on to maybe get a goal, but we can't afford to take Dom off. Well, we'll just move Dom back then, mm. because he can do that. Whereas with Mitrovic, if you want to bring another striker on, well, you're playing two up top, because Mitrovic ain't playing any other position. So, yeah, versatility for me, mate. I think Dom, because he's such an intelligent footballer, he could play off either side, and he could play a little bit deeper in that, mid in that midfield, really. So, yeah, versatility. Point number three, lack of service. Mm. Now, are you talking about the fact that he's got a fellow nominee in his side in Harry Wilson and also coming off the other flank for Fulham, gets loads of crosses in, which he of course mops up. Whereas for Dom Solanke, he's got a young player that came fresh from the academy, hadn't even played a number of matches in the first team for the extent that he had got thrown in. And also Ryan Christie, a player that was um, you never know, played in England. Never played in England before. Yeah, massive. I think this is a, a key one. I mean, yeah, joking aside with Harry Wilson, he wasn't brilliant for us in the Premier League. In the Championship, he's a different level. And if you're a striker and you're playing with Harry Wilson, you're going to score goals. You, you just are. Um, and then on the other side, you've got whether it be Cabano or Carvalho, who's going to Liverpool, mm. like, unbelievable. Whereas Dom Solanke's got, as, as you mentioned, he's got a player that's never played professional football, really. Mm. Um, and then a player that's never played in the championship. Mm. And then even at fullback, you're going, who's Christie got behind him? Well, it could be Stacey, it could be Laird, it might be Smith. It who's behind time. Jane Anthony? A player that's never played professional football, and Jordan Zamora. Mm. Um, ooh, someone's empty in summon. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, so you've got, yeah, the, the lack of service is, is that that's a fact. Mm. Um, and then even, you can even drop in the midfield. I think uh, Tom Kearney's a, a really good creative footballer. And, it's really hard to say it, but if Dom Solanke plays in that Fulham team, mm. he could have done record-breaking goals. But yeah, I just think the lack of service has got to be a key thing. And it also goes back to that link-up play that he has to drop a bit deeper, etc, etc. Point number four, we've lost well, lost key providers, you put. Yeah, well, at the end of the day, they've, they've bought in Harry Wilson, Fulham, 
for Mitrovic. We've lost Arnaud Danjuma, who got to the semi-final of the Champions League oh. um, and is one of the best wingers in, in Europe this season. We lost him and obviously for sad reasons we also lost David Brooks. Yeah. And you could even argue we lost Julius Stanislas last yeah. for the majority of the season, who is known for his assists and creating. So already, I'm thinking that Dom's a you know a more complete, better striker already. And his shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a sponsor. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's, I mean, I just think that's the. What else you need to say on that, mate? He's he's lost some really talent that's going to be in and around him, whereas Mitrovic has gained with people like Harry Wilson. So that's got to be a, a key reason as Dom has got to do it a lot more solely on his own yeah. so to speak and that's not taking any credit away from, from the players that we brought in and done a good job and when you and so our point number five is responsibility and it harks back to what you just said is that the fact that Dom Solanke has been basically given the job this is your thing to do now yeah absolutely and, he, and he's also like I say if you're winning a game you'd think oh do you take Dom off Like, but no we can't because he also does the back stuff he works his nuts off he he has to do so much for the team, and don't get me wrong, Mitrovic is doing a key job because he's put the ball in the net, which is unbelievable, but Dom's put the ball in the net, but doing so much more mm. because he's got to, because we haven't got the quality that Fulham had, in my opinion, and probably, you know, the way we play, which we'll come on to as well, but Dom's responsibility is higher. I think if we didn't have Dom Solanke this season, we don't get top two. If Fulham don't have Mitrovic, I think they would have found a way to still win the league, mm. in my opinion. That's, that's just my opinion. I think Dom's responsibility levels are higher than Mitrovic. Mm, it'd be interesting to see what would happen if you were to take the goals away and see what the outcome mm. of the results were. Maybe when we've got a few minutes, maybe a few hours, <laughs> we'll do that. Point six, his pace and the fact he can run in behind. I think this is one that's probably going to go on to next season as well. I think um, they're both goal scorers at the end of the day and they've both shown that in the league. But when you get into the Premier League and maybe where you have to adapt your style a little bit, play a little bit more counter-attack, Mitrovic is still going to just sniff in the box and probably still be decent at that. Dom could offer you something different. If you're, you're playing a certain way and then you're going, right, the way the game's panning out at the moment, Dom, we need you to run the channels a little bit. We need you to get in behind a little bit more. Stop the link-up play now because we need to start playing on the counter and you get in behind. Dom will go OK and yeah. he'll do that. Mitrovic wouldn't be able to do that. In my opinion, you know, Fulham fans, let us know if you feel he could, but I, I've never seen Mitrovic, the type of striker that can hang off the shoulder and run in behind and run the channels. Um, I'm sure his work rate gets um, down, down a little bit. I'm sure he is, you know, does work his, work his socks off, I'm sure, as well. I'm not saying he doesn't, but the fact of the matter is Dom Solanke is quicker and Dom Solanke can run in behind and chase the channels more than Mitrovic, which is another reason why he's better. Another reason why he's better, number seven, is that he is younger. Now, Mitrovic is 27. He looks like he's older than that, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks, it feels, like, and he's been and it feels like he's been around for a yeah. long time. Where Dom Solanke's 24, and with that, he's got a higher ceiling. I think that's probably why we paid so much for him, because mm. he was so young and had the potential. He scored loads of goals in, in the youth for Chelsea, etc. But he has got a high ceiling, and who knows where it could lead to. In one of our previous videos, you even suggested perhaps an international call-up for the World Cup. Yeah, listen, you can't... Uh, choose your nationality and um, Mitrovic will get in his squad as well for Serbia and he's probably their main man up top so let's just put that point across because that's fair but um, I think the higher ceiling obviously factually is a little bit younger which obviously comes into it but also I just think if you genuinely ask people or you ask neutrals and said in a couple of years one of these two players is going to be playing for a top six side in the Premier League and yeah. in Europe because they've got a big move is it Mitrovic or is it Dom Solanke? Everyone said it's Dom Solanke. Yeah, of course. And maybe that is a factor of that he's younger. That's mm. fine, but that is also a fact. But I just feel like there is a high ceiling there. Mm. I think Mitrovic will always score goals, particularly in the Championship. Mm. And wherever he is, he'll always score goals. But I don't see... He's kind of had that... I mean, Dom's had the chance as well, but he was always going to be a backup player at Chelsea and at Liverpool. Yeah. Mitrovic has had the chance with like Newcastle. And Newcastle decided they weren't doing that well. Mm. And I, I, just, I just feel like... Dom has got that high ceiling and has got more chance of going on, which we don't want to see, but and kind of playing in Europe and playing higher up in the Premier League than Mitrovic has, um, and age obviously a bit a big reason for that. Mm. Okay, next point number eight. These are points you've wrote down. Yeah. The style of play, so therefore it's harder for him. It what is. do you mean? What do you mean? So what I mean by that is uh, obviously going back to the kind of you know your Harry Wilson factor and your Carvalho and people like that. If you're playing in that team, you go, just stand in the box, because mm. then we will provide for you. Yeah. And the way, to his credit, Marco Silva has used that squad, is we're going to play on the front foot, we're going to be better than teams, and we're going to create you so many chances that you will score goals. And um, credit to Mitrovic, he's taken them. 
Dom Solanke, you know, this is not a, a criticism to Parker, but he is more pragmatic. Fulham fans know that yeah, yeah. <laughs> firsthand. Um, he's more pragmatic, he's more defensive minded. And that means if you're a striker, you've got to do more. It's harder. Uh, if no Fulham fan could tell me, you know, they're all going to say that Mitrovic is better, and I totally appreciate that. But no Fulham fan could tell me that it's easier to score goals and, and it's easier for you in general as a striker if you're playing under Scott Parker. Yeah. It isn't. Because we play more pragmatic, we play more defensive, and you're going to get less chances in games. Mm. Fact. Um, Fulham are going to have so many chances, and um, you've got more opportunities to score goals. Dom Solanke is sometimes, we've said so many times on previous videos how isolated he is, mm. and he's still, got nearly, uh, he's still got 30 goals in all competitions, which is, is mad when I think back the season, how isolated he was at times. Mm. Um, Mitch Rich is, is always getting service. Dom sometimes is having a couple of chances a game. So I think that's a that's a key reason why um, you know Dom's record. Yeah, it's it's like I say, it's over ten goals difference. But these are all reasons why I think that that has had a part to play. And yeah, style of play has been been harder for Dom as a striker. And do you think their style of play was fairly similar to us under Eddie when we got promoted? Very like gung ho, free flowing. As yeah. a result, we won a load of penalties that season. That's true. And, Alexandra Mitrovic has netted six penalties a season. Yeah. I don't think Dom's scored that many. It's no, three. I, three, maybe? Maybe two. Yeah, I, I, I knew for a fact that um, Mitrovic scored more penalties, but I thought that was a little bit too petty, a little bit too... Uh, so, in the tear that it's not in there, I didn't want to put in there, oh, we score more penalties. Cause I just thought I'd, I'd have to I know. No, I agree. And that, I could have easily put that in as a point because it is a fact. But at the end of the day, um, we know how... You know, uh, Dom scored a penalty against Fulham, for example. We know how crucial that is, and you've still got to be a, a certain player to put the ball in the net from a, from a penalty. So, and Dom could have had one more if he didn't miss one. So, but yeah, but that goes back to the style of play, doesn't it? You're going to win more penalties if you're on the front foot, creating more chances. You, you're going to win more penalties. We didn't have many penalties this season, and that's because we're quite pragmatic and we don't have a lot of chances in games, and that's why Dom's better. Point number nine, he does it from deeper, and this links into the versatility point, doesn't it? But he does, and he, he does come in so deep, and he links up really well, and yeah. he, he has to... I swear he must run more. I don't know what the stats yeah. are, but I swear that he must run a hell of a lot more than Mitrovic does. Yeah, I don't need to look at kind of too many statistics and heat maps and stuff to know that Dom Solanke covers more ground, that Dom Solanke's in deeper positions. And I know we've kind of mentioned this with the, the link up play, the versatility, it kind of ties into that. But when I say does it from deeper, that means you're scoring goals and being a goal scorer yeah. when you're doing it from so much further behind in the, on the pitch. Yeah. It's so much harder when you're not just sniffing around the box to score goals. And yes, Mitrovic has scored a lot more, but he still scored goals and done what he needs to do to get promoted. And that's what Mitrovic has done, if you look at it in black and white, and so much deeper. Like I say, he's almost, I've said this before on, on a few videos and a few chats, I almost feel like in the modern day, he's a false nine, really, yeah. because he has to do it from so deep. Um, there's, there's a lot of times where Billing's more advanced, isn't there, yeah. um, in the way we play. So Whereas Mitrovic knows his role and does it very well, but it's, he doesn't have to drop as deep as, as Dom Solanke, and that's a fact and another reason why he's better. All right, mate. For, uh, point number 10, the acid test. Scoring goals against top sides. Factual. Factual point here. So what should we do? We'll do the top three. Because then we can go against each other. Uh, as well. Okay, yeah. Well, so the top three were, of course, Bournemouth, Fulham, and Huddersfield. Yeah, so we'll go top three because otherwise it would just be against each other. Um, so at their play, uh, Fulham's uh, Fulham's place, obviously, Dom scored a really good goal. Uh, Mitrovic was was pretty non-existent that game actually. Yeah. Um, and then at our place, they both scored. Yeah. In a one-one draw. So next Huddersfield. Dom's just ahead. So yeah, we go into the Huddersfield game, which is obviously the next team that we're trying to compete for them top two places. Mm. And um, Solanke done pretty well against Huddersfield. Um, Mitrovic. And he got one in the two games against Huddersfield. So I think overall in them top three battles, so like he's got five goals. So that'll be in two games against Fulham and two games against Huddersfield. So that's five goals in four games. Whereas um, Mitrovic got two. So and, he's got over double in the big games. You can argue that there were a number of games where Mitrovic scored a hatful, but that Fulham as a as a team seem to deal better with playing the lower block sides and they would Absolutely. be scoring six or seven past them, whereas we struggled. So I don't think you can put that on Dom. Had, no. had he been part of a side that maybe dealt with it better, I think he would have been like pushing high 30s. I agree and this is what what I keep saying about going forward. It, you know, this could, bite, this could bite me and I'll hold my hands up if it does, but going into the Premier League, as, as you mentioned, mate, when, when Fulham have blown teams away, which they have done, which we haven't, Mitrovic is bagging four goals, mm. like for example, he ain't, they ain't they ain't blowing away teams in the Premier League. That's just a fact, and, and nor nor are we. 
So it's going to be how you do, you know, when you're up against it, you only get a few chances. And all these points I've mentioned is Don gets less chances. Mm. And when we play the bigger games, which is more likely going to be consistent in the Premier League, yeah. Dom in a couple of chances will put the ball in the net. Mitrovic maybe struggles when he's getting less service and, and the, you know, the game's a little bit more um, tight. So, yeah, that's why I think going forward um, that that will suit us. But listen, in terms of if you want to talk about numbers and talk about goals, then then Mitrovic had a better season. But these ten points are, are why I think let's not let's not just say it's black and white. Let's just let's not just be let's not be boring and let's and just go. Oh, First Mitrovic season. has got more goals. He's a better player. I've made ten reasons there. I'll do twenty if you need me to. Do you know what I mean? Click the card at the top of the screen to place your vote now. Look, the vote is open until Friday lunchtime. I think that's Mitrovic flying out from Bournemouth Airport to cast his vote. However, even he's voting for Dominic. He he's voting for Dom after seeing that. You can do the same. Make sure you do. Just go to 90min.com and on there there's a link whereby you can click select the championship tab at the top and then select your player. Obviously, we want you to go for Dom Solanke and there will be a couple of lucky Bournemouth fans who will be giving the prize to Dom Solanke himself if when? he wins. When? You said if. I said when he wins. Oh yeah, when. When he um, wins. Yeah, full of fans. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, <laughs> it was... Listen, don't get me wrong, little cap, Mitrovic is incredible. Yeah, ridiculous. Absolutely incredible. But yeah, we're back you gotta back your boy, ain't you? You gotta back your man. And um I think we've come up with some legitimate legitimate ones there. But um yeah, let us know in the comments if if you think there's any actually, yeah, if you think there's any more reasons yeah. as well. Why right. not? Let us know. Let us know in the comments yeah. below. We would love to read them. Until the next video. See you later. See you later. Now he's got a seaside house. house.